Which is better, Invincible or The Boys? Now, I will start this video out by saying that Invincible is my favorite show of all time, okay? I'm gonna try my best not to be biased, but I will say that is, I'm a competent human being, and Invincible is my favorite show of all time, so not saying you have to believe me, but, and I'm not gonna try to convince you, I'm just gonna give my honest opinion because I have a fair way of figuring out which show is better, okay? Okay. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't like the boys. You know, I just bought this shirt. Ask me, what did I do? What did you do? Scorched Earth. <laughs> if you don't get that, you're not really a boys fan for real. Um, anyway. Let's get straight to it. All right. So first things first, let's listen to these nerds give this um their their opinion. This is mostly for Andrew. What's better? Um, this is the Escape Pod podcast. If you can't see right there, they're just nerds who love superhero shit. So yeah, let's see. Let's see their opinion on this. This is mostly for Andrew. What's better, in your opinion, the boys are invincible. Let's say, all right, so let me just make it clear at the time, there's only, there was only one season of Invincible, and this is still a hard question, all right? Let me just make that clear. I would say Invincible has the best, like, one season, but boy, The Boys has had four seasons, and it has given me more, so I probably like The Boys better, because, I mean, it's similar, like, Omni-Man, Homelander, like, I think Homelander is just as good or better of a villain. And... Over J.K. Simmons? He's the evil dad? Oh. They're both really, really good. It's... I just... I really like the book. Oh, it's so Yeah. Good. So I will completely admit that the Invincible versus Omni-Man debate is a very hard debate. Okay? Of who I like better. Of course, Omni-Man would pummel the shit out of Homelander. But in terms of, like characters like and and things like that in homelander you can't compare power and you can't even compare the power that he shows on his on his show because the show has like a far less budget and it's live action it's harder to do things that are like extreme concepts i already made a video about you know how everything should everything in extreme concepts should just be animated but that's not neither here or there so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different ways to really pick out which is a better show. Now, I might be missing some things, but I feel like these are really important for people, for a show's likability and replayability. I watch Invincible, like, when I'm just, like, down and, you know, I just, like, need to, like, escape watch invincible bro i'm being so dead ass like i'm i know i'm blowing bubbles on it like i'm literally glazing like crazy right now but i'm being so dead ass bro i'm being so dead ass bro it's my favorite show so anyway like i said i'm gonna try not to be biased i'm gonna give props where it's due i love the boys so yeah now when it comes to writing in terms of the story i feel that invincible is better now the reason why is i'm gonna just get into spoilers i'm letting the bitch loose okay so if you didn't watch invincible go watch invincible if you didn't watch the boys go watch the boys and yeah okay now with the boys i feel like yes a lot happened and yes it's like it's cool and and um they have they really nailed the political aspect of superheroing they really nailed like kind of mirroring our world in a way um because like you know in real life like people people will ride for someone like trump for example um just like the way they would ride for homelander in the boys universe and i feel like they really nailed that and that's really really cool um you know and and you also have people trying to take down people like um superheroes because they have no power and they really kind of nail that aspect as well um but i feel that invincible has much more purpose it just has much more purpose like yes and like the boy the the boys is more like 
you know, people are corrupt, people are crazy. They got these these superheroes here and you know, now they're either money makers or puppets or things like that. Just like how people may think celebrities are in our own world and you know, in their world superheroes are celebrities and pretty much everybody else is kind of like just eh. <laughs> But when it comes to invincible, you know, I feel like the first episode is just so notable. I feel like this is why even even then people are struggling with, with the debate when season two didn't even come out yet. And season three hasn't even come out yet. When season three comes out, it's gonna be it's gonna be most likely no debate. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. When season three of Invincible comes out, there's gonna be no debate. But let me get back on track. First episode of Invincible was the greatest first episode of an adult TV show I've ever seen in my life. Now, what they did so good was they really sold like this is a regular TV show. And honestly, before I even say that, I want to say like the first initial like interaction when you first watch the show, it's very like gripping. Like anytime I show it to like you know, a girl or something that like, literally I show everybody this show. Literally I show, I literally put everybody on to Invincible and anytime I, anytime like I watch it with them and like, I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm, yes, I am one of those annoying people who are like, are you watching? Like making sure they're watching, slapping the shit out of their phones when they touch their phones, when they need to be locked in. And, and like the first initial dialogue is very gripping, you know? when the dude's talking about like his his stepson and things like that like it's very very gripping and i feel like the boys is more vulgar and it's like damn a train just ran through my girlfriend <laughs> but anyway so invincible makes it so you think it's a regular superhero show and then boom the superman of the show kills everyone just out of nowhere and we have no idea why and that's just so beautiful because i was just like oh why did he do that and it's just so gripping it's so gripping like why did he do that and just why just why and when you find out why it's like wow like you think you think you're insignificant when you're a human on on earth you are very insignificant just being on earth period superhero or not because because the Viltrumites, they want everything. They want to kill everything, conquer everything. And so it's like the war is just insane. And, you know, when you start bringing in characters like Ancient Evie and variants of Invincible and things like that, like the show just, it just does it. It just does it right. You know, Robert Kirkman is a genius writer. So... I'm absolutely not surprised that he, you know, is is doing things like this. So, yeah, beautiful, beautiful writing, beautiful writing. I think Invincible got this one. Okay, uh, damn, eight minutes in. Sorry, y'all. Okay, let's get it going. Um, characters. Um, like I said, Homelander and Omni Man are very, very hard to compare. So we're just not gonna compare them. We're just gonna x them both out of the character list. Do we like? this cast of characters better you know a train the deep stormfront starlight you know qe and all them or do we like amber robot i feel like i feel like you know if we x out both the big supermen if we x out mark and mark and omni man and billy butcher and homelander just X them all out of this comparison list and just really pay attention to the side characters. I feel like people like Immortal and Rexplode and Robot and Mauler Twins. Like the Mauler Twins, like their cloning concept is super insane. And when it comes to Robot too, like that whole twist was also insane. Monster Girl's curse is also insane. You know, instead of them being like superpowered beings, just superpowered beings or, or superhuman beings or whatever the hell they decide to be, it's like, it's insane every time, bro. Um, um, Cecil is also a really good character. And I just feel like this show is just full of good characters, especially Debbie. Especially Debbie. 
Like, they don't show Debbie enough love, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna honestly give characters to Invincible. Let me know if y'all agree with me or not. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry if I seem biased, but it's, it's just true, bro. Now, action. Now, action, like I said, the, the budget just isn't there. It's just not really fair. If y'all want to just exclude this from your comparison list, but it's not even close. I'm going to be honest with y'all. It's not even close. And I feel like for a superhero film, like, boy, The Boys is almost just like a drama with superheroes in it. But Invincible is a superhero show. Action-packed adult superhero show. And it's like everything you want in a superhero show and more. Like, it's like, it's like Marvel. It's like you, we... As superhero fans grew up with Marvel and we watched the Avengers and we loved all those films and then when Marvel kind of died out Invincible picked up where they left off and then boom Invincible is is just like it took us when we were as we're growing up and now we can watch that show and really appreciate it and really articulate because we're much more mature now so yeah it's just better sorry chat visuals um Now it's this is this is kind of a this is kind of a hard one, kind of a dumb one too to be honest. Um, maybe we should X that one out because I'm just gonna give it to Invincible anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm such a jackass. Okay, um, writing and iconic quotes. I'm gonna have to give that to Homelander, bro. I have to, bro. I have to. What did you do? Scorch Earth. What else? What else did he say that was crazy? Um, you people should be thinking, Christ, that I am who I am. Because you need me. You need me to save you. Come on now. That's the boys for sure. You know what I'm saying? Omni Man said some really cool shit too, but not as cool as Homelander. Acting. Um, I'm going to say the entire, the enti like, I'm going to say both of them kill it. Both shows kill it. They do. They both shows really do kill it. All right. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Both shows really do kill it. Um, I can damn near give this a tie. I'm gonna give it a tie. What's what's yellow and red mixed together? Is that orange? Give it a tie. And I'll give visuals a tie too. Okay. Um. What the hell? Humor. Boys easily. Sorry. Sorry. Invincible. Just true. Um, romance, <laughs> easily invincible, easily invincible, but well, I don't know, is it easily? Yeah, it is, it is, it is, I don't know, orange, <laughs> and evil Superman, like, I will say that I think that Omni Man has a much better, much more complicated character than Homelander does. Like, he's much more relatable because Homelander is like, he's kind of petty and he like crazy and things like that and love him for that. But Omni Man, he, he's like, he's been indoctrinated into a culture and I just think he's better for that. And I think that. When you take, when you really like look at Omni Man's character, and you see like everything he's been through, and you know he's lived for thousands of years, and all he's done is conquer planets, and then boom, Debbie stops him in his tracks and makes him change his whole mind and go against his whole culture that he's been with for thousands of years. You can't beat it, bro. Invincible, better. Stop playing with me. Let me know what y'all think in the comments.